Underdog Fantasy is the best and easiest place to play fantasy sports and their pick'em game. Sign up now with code Poodle and you'll double your first deposit up to $100 in bonus cash when you make your first deposit of $10 or more. It's simple. Deposit $100, get $100 free. Good luck and have fun. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden 24 franchise video. And today we're going to be going over the top 5 running backs to build in Madden 24 franchise mode. But before we do get into the video, I do want to give a quick shout out to Underdog Fantasy, one of the most fun places to play daily fantasy. If you're interested in trying it out, the link will be down below. Use code Poodle to match your first deposit up to $100. Point number five on the list is Brees Hall. Brees Hall was great in Madden 23. And something I want to do mention before I get into this for this video is you have to always keep in mind weight, height considerations. If you're a 99 speed type guy, a running back, like who cares about your weight? But if you're a 93 speed guy with well, you consider good speed and then he has really low weight, but there's a 91 or 92 speed guy who's like 230 bowling ball can catch. You have to keep that. And so you have to take that into account, which I did in this video. So keep that in mind. Always make sure you're checking some of those intangibles, things that you can't directly see like on the stat sheet, but it's there. But getting into Brees Hall, 93 speed, 92 Excel right there alone. He's going to be able to get up to 95 ish speed, maybe 96. If you're lucky, goes to one of the fastest backs in the game. He's got the good weight combo. He has 69 catching, which may look bad, but it's not. That means that when you get him into the nineties, if you even touch receiving back a little bit, you can probably get him up to a 75 to 85 receiving stats pretty easily, which is great. Cause then you can get like backfield mismatch and a few other things. If you do build them properly and that's just solid enough to catch uh, trucking, coming in at 80 which is super solid now another thing i'm trying to mention about foundational sometimes you get a guy with like 92 speed but then you'll have like a 56 65 trucking to start which means that pretty much if you want to upgrade elusive out of that guy you're never going to get that trucking to even a relevant stat like it's never going to happen or if you have a guy with like 80 trucking but 65 juking again you're going to go power by the time he's in the 80s and 90s he's already in the 80s so keep that in mind it's going to be hard to get that many points he's not like a 68 overall something to keep in mind and i like when you get a balance back because those are the generational type backs break tackle 82 and if you keep moving on down you see his juke moves in 87 so his elusive stats are actually almost at 90 at 87 juke and 91 cod which for me means i'd probably start going power back almost off the rip because you'll get that into a 90 rather quickly while the elusive will still inch into the 90s pretty easily unless you're looking for like evasive or something and you want that ability early in that case and just get juke up to a 90 get that stat up enough so you can get it and then go from there but overall Brees Hall is going to be a beast. The whole Jets team is just a super young core, but if you want to trade for him, of course, you can do that as well. Going to be great in Madden 24. Next on the list, we got Bijan Robinson, and the reason he's ahead of Brees Hall, because when you look at the speed here, you're looking at a guy who only has 91, so you might be like, why is he below a 90, above a 93 speed guy? Keep in mind, he's 216 pounds, which is similar to Brees Hall. The weight doesn't really move the needle, but Bijan Robinson is slightly younger. I think he has a year on him, and... He's going to start with superstar dev i believe in madden 24 so that's something to take into account if Brees hall you know i think he starts at star and if you don't get lucky and get that superstar upgrade early on you might be looking at like a slightly decreased uh overall so Bijan's like that hype rookie top 10 pick you're gonna to want to play with him he's going to be really great i think you think he's gonna be a little glitchy so you can get him up to about a 93 speed which makes him slightly slower than Brees. his strength in 81 his catching to 70 which is only slightly better than Brees. about the same they're very similar builds i just like the fact that he's superstar and starts earlier remember this is franchise this is not mutt in mutt you strictly look at stats in franchise you got to take into account the dev trade you got to take into account some of the other things that you don't always look at such as age 83 trucking off the rip very similar again 90 jumping 86 break tackle is super high to start at 81 overall that would be a 99 with ease and if you are moving his juke moves in 86 stiff arms in 82 cod 91 Brees on him are almost identical besides Bijan being slightly slower i just like the bump for the fact that he's slightly younger and he's going to get the superstar dev off the rip next on the list at number three we have one of my favorite running backs in madden 23 i used him almost year round and now they made him good he's an 80 overall that is isaiah pacheco running back for the chiefs he came on late in the season especially in the playoffs and he got that bump 80 overall to start i believe he's 23 years old in madden which similar to Brees Hall. Now you're wondering maybe why he's above all of them. He's just as he's tied for fastest out of the three thus far. He has great, a great weight profile. He's up there in size. He can be a power back and the elusive back, but the key thing is at 95 Excel. That's where he takes the cake on the other two. That acceleration is huge. Being able to go from taking the handoff to hitting the hole, getting around the edge. Acceleration plays a large role in that. He's a protocol typical, he's like a prototypical generational type back that you can build. And he has 70 catching as well. He's all around. But he's going to be 95 speed, 96 excel, uh, 95, 95 speed, 96 speed, 
but he can get up to like 97 98 excel which i just believe is absolutely insane he's young as well and if you move on down here his jumping's 84 i don't think jumping's that important for back you don't really doesn't hurt only kind of like dead in my opinion 82 trucking solid trucking to start and he gets an 82 juke very similar build to the other two where they can get elusive and power back stats so that's very exciting and that that speed and excel profile is just going to be absolutely great out of the three i think they're so close so don't take these rankings like like they're the end all be all any of those three whoever's the easiest for trade for to trade for in madden 24 might be the way to go there but i like all three i really could not pick a favorite again Bijan might have a slight edge a little bit just because he's the rookie he's the hype guy he's a superstar guy in terms of fun factor but if you're competing online you're looking for the best competition it's probably Brees or pacheco but a lot of there's a lot of considerations here whether you're offline franchise online franchise etc coming in at number two is devon akane akane hope i'm saying it right this is a rookie he is going to be insane this is what i was telling you guys about in terms of like crazy speed where you just don't care about any of the other stuff 95 speed off rip at back is absolutely absurd and he's a 76 overall i'm thinking 97 speed minimum 98 speed at best case if he upgrades correctly 97 speed 98 speed is going to be unreal i haven't seen a running back hit that speed in madden in terms in, in my personal franchise in at least three or four maddens i know there's some rookies that can get generated like that but it's pretty rare you ever see a rookie running back above 94 speed he's going to dev super easy he has 65 catching which means he's not exactly there in the threshold of that 70 where they are and unless you're going to make him receiving back which i don't think you do he's going to be crazy out of the backfield to begin with uh catching is really only important if you want to go ahead and get some of those abilities and moving on he has a 82 jump again not too important 69 truck a 76 break tackle is what i was referring to where it's kind of like if you want to go that elusive route here with 82 juke you're going to want to go elusive with him and you're going to get up to a 90 juke but his truck may only cap it like if you get him to a 90 juke his trucking is probably 73 72 if you're lucky at that point and at that point he's probably an 85 overall so you got to kind of make a decision early um if you can get him trucking at that at that build he's probably insane but at the same time you want to risk not getting him elusive if you can play the long game you maybe start upgrading power back early try to get that into the 80s and then get his elusive up after if you want to go for instantly dominant you probably want to go for elusive it's tough it's tough he's, he's going to be a crazy elusive back but if you can get him power too that'd be that'd be nice but those are the ones that are harder as i was referring to but that speed unheard of Jalen waddle tyree kill akane that's just that's like three generational speed guys on the same team two is obviously the problem with that team offline not so much problem online it will be you draft a good qb a nice slinger for that team or maybe even a mobile quarterback i don't know i didn't want to i didn't want to talk about how crazy that team could get with a mobile quarterback but definitely one of the best backs in the game build him pick the dolphins or trade for him whatever you want to do to acquire him he's definitely gonna be a fun guy to have in 24. coming in at number one on the list is jameer gibbs rookie running back again this guy is similar to akane what i like about him is he's going to be more well-rounded he's one speed less i think he's one excel less but he's more well-rounded rookie hype one of the uh one of the top picks in the draft league was a top 20 pick he's going to be so much fun to play with and the lions as a whole is going to be a fun team so you can this is one of those things where you could just build the lions or you could trade for him 94 speed you're looking at again a 96 97 speed guy at running back which is crazy and he has a power slash elusive profile which is what i like so 72 catching means he's the best patch catcher of the four other running backs i talked about on this list so he can very quickly become one of the backfield mismatch uh short out elite short and elite type guys which is great that was one of the metas last year i don't know if it carries over again franchise is different uh 72 strength in my opinion is solid and moving on over his build as a whole is just super solid it's kind of similar to everyone else now he is a bit back on the trucking and the elusive compared to the others but what really stands out is that he's going to get the speed strength and elusive potential combo like uh De devon akane has a his trucking's in the 60s like that's gonna be harder his stiff arm's a bit lower everything's a bit lower in that sense i think jameer gibbs could be the three down purpose back like receiving power and speed if you do it right at 99 though like at 85 he's not going to be an insane power back or as i say an elusive back just yet if you want to build him more rounded i personally would probably start with power get his power up to 80 and then go from elusive from there and just because elusive already is going to be near 90 at this point considering he's already almost there if you look at what he has cod wise and juke move wise in 84 it's almost there i'd probably try to get the trucking up or if you want to make him the ultimate elusive and receiving back and go that route but what i love is that there's ways to you can pick based on your play style 
and how you want to go with him. But I think Jameer Gibbs is going to be super fun to play with. But overall, they're all going to be fun to play with. You can't go wrong with just about any of these. Akane and Jameer Gibbs probably have the step on everyone else like by, by slightly just in that speed. At the end of the day, you know, we want truck and we want receiving it. But what matters, what matters the most is being able to beat the edge on a stretch being able to make one guy miss and just off to the races any run where the the team base aligns they don't base align they leave one side exposed you get one good lead block and you're off to the races every time that's the difference between winning and make or breaking a game right uh being able to take an inside zone to the house is so key to be able to make your offense just easier you know you don't have to be doing big one play touchdowns all the time you don't have to be constantly driving down the field if you can get these easy ones and i'm talking passing with the one play touchdowns it makes life easier when you got that guy that could be a burner nothing nothing sucks more than getting that inside zone where you see the hole and the safeties can just close out because you couldn't beat them out and it's just like wow that could have been a touchdown and then you throw a pick after that i love i love a good dominant running back so that's about it guys i hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you're new to the channel subscribe make sure to comment down below your number one back and if you feel free to comment your top five list if you got the time you got the names in mind of course you may not have five guys off the top of your head but who are your top backs this year to build i'm always interested to see if someone has someone that's not on my list and be like how did i miss him or vice versa what's your thought process for that guy right why is he on your list it's always interesting so please let me know down below give this video a big thumbs up it helps the channel grow helps the video do well and that goes a long way in helping us build make sure to check out underdog fantasy and uh my socials are down below if you ever want to dm me on twitter um etc all right so thank you guys for watching i'm out peace